Hi, this is TxDOT Public Information Officer Josh Done. I'm on westbound I-10 approaching Heapner Road. I'm going to drive through the I-10 Heapner project. I uh, want to look at the uh, retaining walls that we've been working on and that uh, compose the bulk of the project, actually. Uh, now, in doing so, it, you're, the look that we're going to get at some of these walls is going to be pretty brief. I am going to be traveling at about 5 to 8 miles an hour under the posted speed limit. So I'm going to try to not be uh, too inconsiderate to those that are driving around me. I know the people need to get where they need to get. But uh, I want to make sure that folks are able to see uh, what we're talking about. I'm taking the Woodstone exit. This is, by the way, the future uh, Days of Allah exit. When we're all done here, we're going to have two exit lanes. Uh, and uh, this is going to be the only exit to Days of Allah Road when we're all said and done. I'm going to turn my lights on just so the folks are aware of me uh, as I get over here on uh, this area. But we're approaching one of these retaining walls. There are 16 retaining walls on this project. We're not going to see every single one of them. We will see most of them. Here's one right here. You can see uh, the job of a retaining wall is to keep dirt where it's supposed to be and keep a, a hill from uh, washing out and sliding out. And you can see on the left as we uh, get through here, we're approaching the uh, Fredericksburg Road underpass. That retaining wall that we just went by uh, is one of many. And you can see where it is designed to keep the, the hill that the main lanes of I-10 uh, are built, built on, keep that hill from sliding out into uh, these, uh, these frontage road uh, lanes. Uh, now, as we uh, continue up here on uh, the frontage road, you see that we are doing a little bit of work um, you know, in areas where there isn't frontage road. There's some uh, drain boxes right there that we just passed uh, that are going in. But the majority of the work that we have going on right now uh, has to do with retaining walls. So just uh, be aware of that. And I know it sounds kind of crazy, like, well, darn, we, we're never really progressing. We're always working on a retaining wall. And, and I know that that sounds like that's the case. The reality of it is, is the bulk of this project is made up of retaining walls. And that's because the, most of this project, this stretch of highway, is either built on or against a hill. So, I mean, you can see it right here as we come down onto the main lanes. I'm actually going to do what's called queue hopping here, and I'm just trying to get around the uh, traffic signal a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're elevated above uh, everything around us. We're built up on top of a hill right here, and, of course, in order for this hill to, to not slide out and cave away, uh, there are retaining walls that are built underneath us, uh, and, and that's what we're, we're looking at. As I'm exiting here at UTSA Boulevard, still going westbound, you kind of get a good look as you look down in front. Now, now it's kind of towards the left of us, of where uh, the road is going to be widened. But uh, as you come around here and get into the frontage road itself, uh, you can see where we're, we're working on additional for, uh, retaining walls. Here you can see the panels to the left of the retaining walls are actually starting to be set in place. Uh, if you look uh, closely, they're actually being set away from where the grout uh, for these uh, soil nail walls here have been have been uh, put up and that's so that we can actually go in uh, between where the the wall that the, the the wall of dirt that's been grouted in place is at we can go in there and, and uh, backfill put some material between uh, the dirt and, and the wall that we're building and uh, create a, a more uh, stable wall okay I'm gonna jump around another intersection here you can see some more retaining wall work down on the right hand side again we're widening here there is uh, turnaround bridges that we're going to be building here uh, turnaround bridge going uh, uh, inbound to outbound or east to west uh, right there you can see the columns that have been built to support that bridge I'm gonna uh, actually jump onto the main lanes themselves here uh, not just the exit uh, lane uh, to go up to 1604 and turn around here using the cloverleaf uh, course speeding up to uh, the speed limit here at this point um, I'm going to turn off my lights while I'm doing so and uh, try to maintain our safe following distances of course now the uh, again the goal of this project is to add a lane in each direction talked about how uh, this uh, the the highway the main lanes of, of uh, I-10 here in this stretch is either built on or against a, a, a hill of some sort and these retaining walls uh, make a, a, a major uh, 
difference in the structure of, of uh, the roadway that we're building. Of course, it keeps the hills from washing out. So in the areas where the highway is built on top of a hill, what that does is that keeps uh, the highway, the, the the supporting uh, hill underneath the uh, the the roadway from crumbling and uh, uh, falling away, which of course uh, uh, helps us to uh, adequately maintain the uh, roadway as well as um, helps us uh, in make sure that uh, the roadway remains safe. Looks like some uh, folks are helping each other out here. I'm gonna continue through this clover leaf. By the way, this clover leaf. Remember that uh, that yield signs are intended to help you yield, which means in this event you've got this white car right here. A uh, better way, other than stopping and waiting for a hole, as they have done right here, they've just kind of cut right in front of me on a, a, at a solid white line. A better way to approach that is to uh, actually continue in the lane that they are and then mer merge using what's called a zipper weave. Uh, and, and that way, uh, traffic doesn't actually stop and back up onto main lanes. But uh, anyway, continuing down here, gonna get on the eastbound I-10 here at the bottom of this uh, ramp. I'm looking to see what kind of vehicles I have coming at me from the rear. We're looking like we're in good shape, so I'm going to get where I can safely get over. See, I didn't do that immediately. I just kind of waited until I was a little bit down that little ramp to make sure that I could safely clear. All right, now we're headed uh, eastbound I-10. Again, we're going to just take a look at a couple of those retaining walls. Uh, now, there are some, there's some stuff that you can see if I take the UTSA Boulevard exit. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to take the Days of Allah Road exit uh, in the interest of time. I don't want to get caught up in a stoplight, so I want to just show everybody what uh, what's going on here. Uh, you can see a lot of dirt material that's being stockpiled right here. Um, this stockpile uh, is, is uh, going to be used for backfill at some point, which means... Uh, uh, this dirt will actually be moved to another part part of the project, um, presumably actually between like the the grout or the soil nail uh, anchors, uh, like in uh, some of the area other uh, uh, retaining walls that we've looked at, and the actual wall panels themselves. Here's one retaining wall again, uh, you know, right here at UTSA Boulevard. This retaining wall is almost finished. Um, you see that uh, we're basically at the point where we're putting finishing touches on it. Looks nice and clean and good. Uh, we're excited to have that retaining wall finished. It's, uh, that one took us a long time, actually. It was a, it, that one was a doozy. Now, I'm taking uh, that exit right here. Again, I'm gonna turn my lights on because I am gonna be doing about five miles an hour under the speed limit. I want people to be aware uh, of, of the fact that I am slower than, than they might expect. Now, uh, through here, most of this area, this is some widening work. Uh, not a lot of retaining walls uh, required right here, but there is some widening work that is happening uh, in the main lanes right here to the left of us. Um, and I'm going to go around uh, De Zavala Road, uh, but there is a lot of retaining wall work again being uh, done directly in front of us. Uh, and it's going to be on our right a little bit. Probably won't be able to see it too well over the barrier. You can see a little bit where that orange uh, fence is at. There's retaining wall work being done just down the hill from that orange fence uh, here on our right-hand side. And uh, that, again, to keep this, uh, the slope that we're driving on from uh, falling down into uh, other areas. Now, one of the things to look forward to in the next few weeks right in this area is the center median area of the main lane. So I'm gonna exit here so we can take a look at some of this work that's being done. Uh, on this side, again, some retaining wall work and some uh, some other widening work. Um, the uh, oh, this guy is gonna try to cut in front of me. Um, that center median barrier of, in the main lanes, you can't see it on the screen right now, but it's far to the left of us. You're gonna see some demolition work right, going on here pretty soon. A lot of that's to prepare for uh, milestone three and milestone four, which is the reconstruction, of the Days of Allah Road overpass bridge. Uh, that's expected to start up here in March. Um, the, the, we'll shift lanes in April, and once we shift lanes in April, that'll trigger uh, the milestone where we start uh, getting going uh, on counting down time. 
once we trigger that milestone, expect about a year before we're complete and have everything to where it's uh, it's going to finally uh, sit. Okay, you saw a lot of uh, widening work right there to the left of us as we just went through that area. Not a ton of major uh, retaining wall work going in. At the present time, I'm gonna get over a lane, I've got it clear, uh, but uh, again, uh, some important work to stabilize the the, uh, uh, the ground uh, to support uh, the highway. So again, retaining walls, just like this right here, this little wall right to the left of us, this is an old retaining wall, we're not gonna rebuild it, but that's kind of, that's what we're talking about when we're talking about retaining walls. So anyway, uh, this is, uh, like I said, this is Textile Public Information Officer Josh Donay. Probably not the most interesting film I've done here for us, but I know that uh, with this project, there has been a lot of work on retaining walls, and rather than have uh, folks say, man, you know, how come we're, uh, all we ever do is, uh, and all we ever talk about is, is work on retaining walls, and I wanted to let folks know that that's a major part of this project, and exactly what the purpose of those retaining walls are. I'm going to turn my lights off now and, uh, and catch up to the uh, speed of traffic here. Uh, travel at the posted speed limit. Um, make sure uh, you drive safely today. Thanks for, uh, for driving with me today. And uh, drive safe, everybody.